Hi everyone, let's get started. Today we are going to look at downward facing dog, a very important step in sun salutations and one that also can create some wrist or shoulder injuries. So it's an important one, let's look at it. We were in cobra pose in the previous step. From cobra, you tuck the toes in, lift the body up and come into downward dog. Now it's all right. If your heels don't reach the ground, if that doesn't happen, you can slightly bend the knees, release the stretch from some of the muscles and focus more on getting a neutral position in the spine. So that's for the lower body or your legs. Also, you want to ideally aim for a neutral position in your lower back as well. And what that means is, Instead of being uh, very tucked in with your lower back and rounded back, you want a more neutral spine. That is always helpful, especially if you have lower back issues. Now, the second thing we're looking at is our shoulders. And what you want in downward facing dog in your, sh in your shoulders is a little bit of an action as if you're trying to get the armpits to face each other and the crease of the elbow to come forward but simultaneously from the lower arm you're trying to press this area down. So let's find this position again and one is that my elbows are going out so I try to straighten them. I try to get the armpits to face each other and then I simultaneously am pressing the index finger and thumb mounts into the mat. So try this now again when it comes to alignment, there are many different ways that people can enjoy a posture. What I'm sharing is more general, is more what may be applicable to most people. It may not be applicable to everyone. So that's important to understand. And I want you to be mindful of that when you do these practices, particularly because downward facing dog engages your wrist, your shoulders, the back and also the spine stretches out. It is almost a preparatory practice for inversions like headstand and handstand. So you're learning to activate the shoulder, a very mobile joint. You want to create stability there. So don't worry about how good a shape you make. Think more about how the posture feels. Is there any pain anywhere in the wrist or the shoulder? Because repeatedly doing something that's not right for you can create that. All right, so that's it for downward facing dog. I hope you got an understanding of what the posture is. Remember, it's an inversion. It puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder and the wrist. So be mindful of these two joints. Really tune into these two areas to see how you feel. And if any of the cues work for you, help you feel better, then please incorporate them. All right, that's it for today. And we are going to cover a very important step in sun salutations in the next session, which is moving from downward dog to Ashwa Sanchalan. I'll see you then.